Hello everyone, this is case number 6 of MSK series. Today's case is a 55 year old patient presenting with progressively enlarging scalp lump for 6 months duration. So this is his anterior posterior radiograph of the skull in this skeletally mature patient. Here you can see abnormality. Actually, it's in the right frontal bone, so there's a expansile lytic lesion. Expansile lytic lesion. It's a. It's actually a well-defined one. There's some sclerotic margins here, and. There are coarse trabecular pattern here you can see coarse trabecular pattern is there so giving rise to honeycomb appearance honeycomb appearance is there uh, there is possible breaching of outer table of the skull in this region and uh, it has narrow zone of transition and it has here yeah, on yeah, on the end like appearance here yeah. it's due to extension of the trabeculae outside the outer table of the skull giving rise to here yeah, on the end appearance so it doesn't have a soft tissue component and no synchronous lesions as well in this region rest of the skull bones are normal so in this case uh, and also no periosteal reaction so the diagnosis of this x-ray is skull wall timangioma so the differential diagnosis uh, one since this is a old patient 55 year old patient we have to exclude metastasis industry deposit solitary metastasis deposit is a possibility so other one is plasma cytoma so another one is meningeal hemangiopericytoma So these are the three main differential diagnoses for this skull vault hemangioma. These skull vault hemangiomas are benign lesions. It does not need treatment and common site is uh, calvarium. Sometimes in the spine also they can occur. And it is common in the fourth and fifth decades of life. Usually it's an incidental finding, sometimes it can appear as a lump in the spine, can appear as a fracture and also incidental finding. So this sends our case number 6, please subscribe our channel and you can get notification when we post new videos, you can comment on our videos also, thank you.